Ladies and gentlemen, I got some breaking news coming through from uh, that I just seen on Twitter that I needed to make this video, get it out to you guys as soon as possible to let you guys know everything that's happening. Arsenal are going to be getting some players back from injury, some major boost, injury boost to the likes of Thomas Partey and Gabriel Jesus. And Arsenal look to have made a 22 million pound bid for a Spanish striker, former Real Madrid player. Let's get into it. Everything right now. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And also, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to all you guys for the nice birthday wishes. I really do appreciate it. Let's get the show started right now. And also, I have a new channel sponsor, so this is you guys can put out the link in the description to get subscribed. Uh, I mean, go follow the scores app, the app, the app you can check out the scores, plus more data, match, match player ratings, and everything else. Check it out. But yeah, let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Today, there's some crazy news. I did not even know too much about this Getafe player before this moment, but it looks like Arsenal are looking at making a potential striker signing yes so let's get into it so this report came out that arsenal have made a 22 million pound bid for getafe striker and i don't want to butcher his name but it's uh broja mayural mayural broja mayural that's how you pronounce his name and it looks like arsenal have made a 22 million pound bid my first reaction is probably the same as your, all your first reactions who on earth is this guy and why it, and who on earth are these sources breaking this personally to me i don't know this is a sun art, this is a sun article and this is a man united fan breaking this uh, breaking this news also so the likelihood that they would know before the likes of david onstein and others is very low so i just have to take this with a grain of salt i i don't want to take this too serious but it looks like arsenal might be actually serious looking at some strikers this could be agent talk we don't know the extent of the truth behind this but let's let's take a look quickly on who this player is and, and try to see what we can learn about him so he's a 26 year old spanish uh if i'm not mistaken he's spanish i think he is yes so he's 22 years old spanish um, spanish in, in a uh, professional footballer he currently plays for getafe he's 26 years old he formerly played for the likes of Real Madrid, Roma, and and more. He is a six foot tall striker who currently in the in 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 La Liga has twelve goals in nineteen games. It's not bad. It's actually not bad. Did he ever do anything at Roma? He scored ten goals at Roma. Real Madrid never really got to play. Was on loan and uh, when he was younger, he did okay there. But the main thing is he's 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 doing well right now at, at, at Getafe, right? How much? How much? He does re reportedly have a release clause of around twenty million uh, twenty million pounds. So if it is true that Arsenal have bid, third, uh, we've basically bid more than his release clause. How has he done this season? As you can see, he scored in a lot of the games. Let's see if he's done if he did well in the big games. Real Madrid, he scored against. He scored against Real Betis. He scored against Valencia. Sevilla scored two versus Atletico Madrid in one of their last games where they drew. Does look like does look like he scores a lot of goals. Personally, for me though, it's still a very underwhelming potential signing. If this is true, if this is true, it is still a very underwhelming potential signing. I don't know the likelihood of us actually pulling this off. It does seem like something. That, Personally, for me, I'm not that interested in in this in, in this deal. I personally think this is an extremely underwhelming signing, and it doesn't move the needle for us. But you know what's even more crazy? After that report came out three hours ago, another report came out that Arsenal's 22 million pound bid from Getafe striker uh, has been rejected, and Arsenal have been following up with Manor closely since November, and Getafe wants closer to 39 million. Don't make sense. This does not make sense. B 
because if I'm not mistaken, his release clause, he has a release clause in his contract that is around this price. So if we trigger the release clause, there's no such thing as them asking for more money. So this whole thing just don't make sense to me. I don't believe it. And some people probably are calling it out in the comment section. So this bid uh, is a blessing in disguise. Arteta and Edu should not be giving away more funds. Forget it. Get Vlahovic. As you can see, people are just going all over the place talking about it. Yeah, the sun is the source. Really and truly, we cannot believe some of these stories. This is the transfer window, ladies and gentlemen. It is silly season. And there's going to be some crazy transfer rumors coming about. So in the span of literally minutes, they've not what was that 928? And what was this one? When was this one dropped? 927. So in the span of two minutes, basically, they reported that this this bid was taking place and then the bid was rejected. I don't know what to believe. This at this moment in time, we have to look at this and we have to say to ourselves, it smells like BS. It smells like BS. Really and truly, don't get yourselves too emotionally attached to any of these uh, potential January links because sometimes it's just bullshit drawn up by the agent to get a player a move. Now, with that being said, there is some other stuff that we need to talk about. So let me know what you guys think about that potential striker signing, uh, Broha Mayoral. Um, if you guys watch Getafe, let me know how good he is personally for me. I think he, he I, I don't know what he's going to bring to the table that Eddie and Kitty at this point can't. I know you guys are going to probably think that's crazy, but I, I, I don't know what he could bring to the table. We also have some update on Arsenal Academy striker Bireth. Arsenal has not recalled him and will bring training uh, and he will be continuing to train with Motherwell tomorrow. He's just playing at such a low level of football. It doesn't make sense to bring him back to play for us at this moment in time. It just doesn't make sense. Also, we have an update on Thomas Partey. As uh, reports come out from John Cross that Thomas Partey could give Arsenal a major boost and return at the end of January. Tom uh, Partey has been stepping up his rehabilitation and could return to the first team duties for the trip to Nottingham Forest on the 30th of January. So that is a big boost for Arsenal. Let's hope that Thomas Partey is fit and available and can be back in time for that game. That would be an amazing uh, update right there if we, if we could get him back in time for that game. It would be absolutely crucial uh, to see if we can get something out of Thomas Partey this season because he's been so injury prone. And when, when he's playing on his day, he's an amazing player. Uh, no big update on Zuba Mendy at this moment in time. Of course, we know that he has a 60 million pound release clause that nobody's willing to spend at this moment in time. Ivan Tony's not happening. We do have an update though on Aaron Ramsdale is expected to stay at Arsenal for at least until the summer as TalkSport understand that 25 year old is admired by Chelsea, Newcastle and other clubs. But at this moment in time, nobody wants to spend big this window to bring him in. Um, Arsenal have liked, have liked Onana, but nothing happening yet at this moment in time. The Onana news seems to be agent talk also. So let's not get too emotionally attached to potential January links because it does seem like all of them don't really go far right away. So that's just, that's just what's happening at this moment in time. Don't get too attached to these potential January links. That's all I have to say because guess what? These players in January, these links in January, they come and go as quick as like a snap. That's that's how it is. So just don't freak out. But yeah. Um, in other news, we also heard that Gabriel Jesus, um, some news about Gabriel Jesus uh, could be back very soon. Hopefully Gabriel Jesus is going to be uh, back fit to go. Um, one second. Let me see. If I can find that article for you guys, because there was an article talking about Gabriel Jesus uh, could be back fit and available uh, for our next game. Hopefully, I just can't seem to find the article at this moment in time. But reports coming out that Thomas Partey could be back end of January. Gabriel Jesus could be back after after a little break in Dubai, and Timber could be back as early as late to mid uh, March. So we're we're just gonna see what happens there. And yeah, that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing else to really talk about. 
I haven't done an upload today, but I do once again have to say I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been giving the channel. Please do hit a like on the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about Thomas Partey, Gabriel Jesus, um, Ramsdale not being sold or any staying. Should he be starting over Raya? Let me know what you guys think. And this random striker from Getafe that Arsenal have been linked to today. It's just so random. I don't know what to think anymore. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, big up to Sofa Score once again for the, the the sponsor for this video today. Make sure you guys do check out Sofa Score. The link to uh download the free app is in the description. And we're out of here, people. Have yourselves a wonderful day. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Maybe I'll try to get Dan Potts or or somebody on the show tomorrow or the next day. I'll let you guys know though when I get the when once the video is about to go live. And I'm out of here, people. Love for the love. Have yourself a wonderful day.